So, hello there YouTubers and welcome to uh, this review of Sad Movies You Can Cry To. And uh, we begin with a movie called Fluke. Now, this as you can see is a dog movie, but it's quite different from other dog movies. You see, it, everything is not like it seems to be in this one. And I would just say that there might be some spoilers in this review, but not as much as destroying the movie though. So let's begin what's going on here and how sad this is. Um, well, um, uh, the movie begins with a car chase. Two people are in each car, are racing it seems to. One of them uh, lost control of the car and slammed into a tree and yeah, he dies. And uh, then there's a light tunnel where colors, the death tunnel I presume. And then suddenly we introduce two dog puppies, uh, a newborn puppy it seems to. Hmm, that's a bit strange. It's a... Uh, Golden Retriever, um, very uh, brown Retriever, and um, well, uh, he lives the life as a puppy and that, and uh, everything's fine. Uh, the mother g and the pups gets um, catched uh, by dog catcher now, and eventually many of the other dogs are adopted, but not uh, that little runt, they call it a little runt or something like that. But eventually the dog uh, can escape, can escape and that. And later he meets some kids, the dog meets some kids. And then somehow he has a flashback to something earlier that uh, seems to his earlier life. With uh, some kid and a little bit other stuff and that's a bit odd, but anyway, uh, a homeless person adopts the dog later. Uh, she dies uh, sooner, pretty soon though. She's in, she's not in good health. The dog is in good health, but well, and uh, then he meets another dog called Rumbo, and that dog can talk. And it seems to this that dog Fluke also can talk, you know, human language, they talk like us. Hmm. So, we pretty can guess that, that uh, this uh, human was um, reincarnated as a dog. But what about Rumbo? Is that the same with him or is there something else that's going on here? I will not spoil any more about what's going on, but uh, yeah, there's some interesting revelations on that. And, uh, uh, wow, is this uh, movie a crier? Ugly crying or just tears in your eyes? I would say it's kind of an ugly crier. One reason for this it's not uh, this story itself, um, it's more, uh, the score is really, really emotional uh, and it's made by Carlo Ciliotti, his name is that, and it's one of these um, real sad and sappy scores, so if you're easily moved by that, and then you have that, that um, this dog remember his uh, human life. Then it gets quite sad. But without the music, it might be that it wouldn't be that sad. So let's say if you see it and turn down the volume. Yeah, okay, maybe not that sad. But with that music, very, very, very sad. I know there's some clips on YouTube from this that uh, shows the ending but do yourself a favor and don't just look at that 
please see the whole movie instead because there's a lot of things not only the ending but yeah there's a lot of things going on in this and um, you are awarded with some tears some might just get some tears some might be ugly crying over this it depends on your emotional state also I mean if you're easily moved by when you see it then it's just ugly crying no doubt but if you're a strong person maybe not that much uh, so but no matter what it's not uh, shameful to cry over a movie in my opinion so just let it happen if you if you get moved you get it I mean so um I wouldn't rate this on a 10 on Ugly Crying. I would maybe rate it at 7, I guess. Um, or something like that. Maybe even 6. 6 or 7 around that. So, uh, yeah. And uh, that was uh, this review of that movie. Stay tuned for more sad movies.